Timeout remaining. Azul contra Hubalde. Where do they go? Baggio to Abueva. Santos all over him. Abueva in trouble. Shoots it off the side of the board. Ran into a brick wall. And now Petron will have possession. All they need to do is get it inbounds. Pag hindi naga steal itong Alaska, sigurado mamimigay ng foul. That could have been a foul on Doug Kramer. And Alaska still up in arms. Everybody on their coaching. Here's the Magnot, it's 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 the Magnot, are going to check the replay. That was, that was close. That was close. Very, very close. <laughs> Hindi pumasok yung penetration na tira ni Alex Cabagnot. Nakuha ni Asi Taulaba yung offensive rebound. Tumira, pumasok. Ano kaya? Split second too late or split second on time? Alalaman po natin yan. Ibang klase ito ha. Unang game pa lang ito, mga kapatid. Ayaw! Oh, not counted! Not, not counted. counted! The light was on when Taulaba scored. Talking text wins by one! They can hold on for the next 7.2. Norwood, Pinaso K. Lee. What are they gonna do? Do they wanna send it to double OT? Will they wanna win it? Belga looks up at the clock, takes the three. Short! And Morocco survives! Oh, Cardona and Belga going at it. Di pa tapos ang labanan kahit nag-buzzer na. All of that, sinisiguradong wala nang mangyayari. Oh, this is that you know, good defense by Meralco. This is where Rainer Shine felt that they got fouled. for the traveling violation yeah. on that hop itong si Baroca and lahat sila they were doing that that dance move a shot up who's it gonna be? well Beer Fruits had to look at the kind of um, offense that um, Alaska will run they're gonna run the same thing it's Willie Miller Willie Miller almost loses his footing a second to go there's the jumper off the glass no and the Pure Food DJ Giants have taken game number three of the KFC PBA Philippine Cup and now lead the series three to nothing. Once again, what a comeback coming from the Pure Foods DJ Giants. Here's a look at yes. what transpired. There was a slip here. Pingris a little bit late. He moved in, took the jumper, got it off in time. Yes. He just overcooked it a little yes. bit. But as it came down, you saw Willie Miller holding onto his face. There may have been some kind of collision. It may have been uh, it may have been an after collision with Ravi Rivas, but nonetheless, the official score is now 79-78. Pure Boots have taken game number three. This was the final play of the Alaska Aces. A play that could have won it for them. And now, the Giants are threatening to sweep this series. Baroka on 
the move, down the good of the defense, nice up big, Marocca gets the basket for the Sabres. You kind of thought Una Una Siporoco was out of control. Time, as he sees here the lane going inside, and almost traveled. I could have called it a travel. Actually, traveled. The yes, he the did. Lane. Yes, he did. He actually traveled. So with 5:42 remaining in this contest. Washington coming out to receive, gets it over to Pringle. Two guys on Stanley. Pringle is in trouble. Pringle gives it up to Jensen. He never runs out of time. And Global Port will knock off Barangay Hinebra. I think King Kong is really very cool, okay? Could have easily been five seconds now. No, the, then the ball hacking by oh, the show five yeah. seconds now. Seven, for seven seconds, he held the ball already. Yeah. Further in backcourt. Oh, Did no. that pivot slip? Oh, that was close too. Even the Global Port management and coaching staff are still on that sideline watching this replay. Well, it doesn't matter. There was no call. I don't see how they you can reverse it. You cannot review it. Yeah. That is it. Global Port will be taking on the Alaska Aces in the semifinals. Clutter has been unstoppable as of the moment. Short to shoot. Clutter and a reach in, or uh, rather a, uh, a basket won't count. No? Uh, tinulak ni uh, Rafferty, this is Clutter. And that will be the third personal against Jesus. And Sandy Coffey will uh, reach the limit here. Technical foul on uh, Rafi Rivas for resentment to a call. We don't know what Rafi said. But right now, he cannot afford to give up three points. Coach Tim Cohn very upset. Wow, First look, all, look at Coach Tim. And really talking vehemently with referee Edward Aquino. I think for, for yeah, one thing. This, yes. this should, I think this would be a technical foul. And Tim refused to sustain to leave the side of uh, referee Aquino. Wow, Coach Tim is still at it. He's Jeffrey Carriasso trying to restrain Coach Tim. And, 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 I, and I'll explain why, why Coach Tim is upset. Rafi Rivas was not talking to, to referee Aquino at all. He was actually talking to the referee that called the foul. You can see right here, First of all, we've seen much more contact than this 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 play is actually called by that referee. Peter Balao. Peter Balao and then Rafi directly. High screen. He's open. The best angle from our replays. My goodness. Here we go. Alapak gets Alapak. the screen. He played. Throw. Hitting Bong Rabela for the open side jumper. Hitting. Butike. <laughs> Butike. Butike in Kubao. What's the man? Alapak. Hail Mary. Asi gets the ball. Oh, no. This just might count. That. Well. Make your decision. Well, make your decision. <laughs> well, mga kaibigan. <laughs> well, mga kaibigan, our referee, meron tayong replay rule pag end game. Tayo po, wala tayong replay pag end game. And the decision is final. Mm. Ang tinawag ni lead referee Cruz mm. ay knockout. 
two points on Lamont ng Pocket Picks. BMEC with the basketball. Now with 12.3 seconds to go, you ask the question, will they go for the win or will they go for a tie? Here we go. Urbistoto to Simon. 10 seconds remaining in the series. They go to James. James to tie. No! And a ball is up with James. Yep. Two seconds to go. No! No! Duncan Fox wins. The commission. Wait a minute. There's a foul. They foul. b -Mac had its chances. Nakako won an offensive rebound. Uh, there was a foul on the rebound play. b -Mac had its chances. They didn't go for a three-point shot. They were going for an extension. They were going for a tie. You know, I was halfway through my declaration. But turns out that may foul. There's the miss by James. And then babalik pa kay James to bola. And there you go, James Yap. Again, looking for the inside two points. They weren't going for a three-point shot. And there was a foul right there. You know, I, I it was impossible for us to hear the whistle. Yeah. But you saw the reaction of Kelly Williams. If it was Kelly, Kelly was called for a foul. That's going to be huge. Because in that kind of situation, pag hindi masyado clear yung foul, dapat huwag natawagan ng mga referees. But it looks like a foul has been called. And it will be Denzel Bowles shooting free throws with 1.2 seconds to go. The game is not over. Wow. The game is not over. This could go into overtime. One more free throw coming up. The problem here, if he makes his shot, we do time out. you. The best import of the conference about to take the biggest shot the of the tournament. Or go home. It looks like we are going One to go. to go. One second to go. Castro. We're going into overtime. And you've got to credit James Yap. James Yap did not force the outside shot. He went inside. He found Denzel Bowles. Denzel Bowles got fouled with 1.2 seconds to go. You've got to credit James Yap. But what a call by the referees. What a call by the officials to call that foul on Kelly Williams. Well, this is this is how a game seven should be this is how it should be and denzel right now i think he's in tears but we have five more minutes to go